Hello and welcome to Math Molecules. In this tutorial, we would be learning the first of the algebraic identity, which is x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. Let's see the proof of it. x plus a into x plus b. These are two binomials to be multiplied. We would follow the same process what we do to multiply any two polynomials. The first term x is multiplied with the entire term x plus b first. x into x plus b. Then we get x into x which is x square and then x into b which is bx. Now plus a into this entire term x plus b. a into x we would get ax. a into b will be ab. Now we get x square plus bx plus ax plus ab. bx and ax are like terms. So we'll go ahead and combine these two like terms. What we see here is in both these terms x is the common factor. So if we take out the common factor x, we are left with b plus a. I'm going ahead and rearranging the middle term. x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. The b plus a is just rearranged as a plus b. Hence the identity is proved. We get x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus b. A, B. Now if we have any binomial of this form x plus a into x plus b you have to multiply any two binomials of this form instead of following all these steps of multiplication we can apply this identity and arrive at the solution. Let's see the applications. How can we use this identity to multiply any two binomials? Make sure that your binomial is of the form x plus a into x plus b to use this particular identity. The first example x plus 2 into x plus 3. So the first term if you see is the square of the variable which is x square. Here also as the variable is x the first term is x square. Now here we have our a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. So a plus b is 2 plus 3 into x which is 5x and then we have ab is the last term plus ab which is 2 into 3 which is 6. So our answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's see the next example. This is also of the form x plus a into x plus b. Our a is 2 here but if you see the b it is minus 3. So the first term is the square of the variable which is x square and then it is the addition of the constants a and b. a plus b. So here it is 2 and our b is minus 3. So it is 2 minus 3 into the variable x and then we have plus a b 2 into minus 3. We have 2 into minus 3 which is minus 6. 2 minus 3 gives us minus 1x. So the answer is x square minus x minus 6. Let's see the next example. Here both a and b are negative numbers. a is minus 2 and b is minus 3. As usual our first term is the square of the variable. Whatever variable is here we have to just square it and write. So x square and then we have to add a plus b here a is minus 2 and b is minus 3. So we write minus 2 minus 3 into x minus 2 minus 3 becomes minus 5x and then we have minus 2 into minus 3 ab which is plus 6 x square minus 5x plus 6 would be the solution for this one. In the last example, a minus 5 into a plus 4. The only difference here is our variable x has become a in this case. 
So the first term is the square of the variable. The variable is a here. So square of a, which is a square. And then we have a, which is minus 5, and b, which is 4. So minus 5 plus 4 into the variable a. And then we have minus 5 into 4. We get here a square minus a minus 20. I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding the first algebraic identity and applying the same for multiplying any two binomials of the form x plus a into x plus b. There are many more applications of this identity which I would be covering in my upcoming videos. To know the geometrical representation of this identity, please find the link below where I have represented the identity geometrically using GeoGebra. Thank you so much for watching Math Molecules.